Navajo, or in their own language, Dinye, which means the people. They are an ancient people with a rich culture of astounding mythology and art and a history that should never be forgotten. The Navajo Nation is the largest indigenous reservation in the U.S. This landscape is made up of sandstone mesas, arches, and beautiful canyons. They live along the vast red desert where very few plant life is present. They were a semi-nomadic tribe following herds and the water. They were led to this beautiful scenery by the gods. They see this land as the promised land of the fourth world, nestled between four sacred mountains. Mythology begins deep in the earth, the underworld. They were created by the great mother goddess, a spider woman, and they were brought life through song. When it came time for their emergence, they were led through three other underworlds, each more terrifying than the last, until, through a great journey, they emerged into the fourth world, the glittering surface. The sun spirit and the spider woman led them to their sacred land and taught them medicine, agriculture, rug weaving, pottery, and morality. They gave to them turquoise and silver and the great cedar tree, which they still burn. Rug weaving is a sacred art that the Dene learned from watching Spider Woman weave her magnificent web. Today, weaving rugs, blankets, and tents is a silent remembrance of what she did for the people. The beautiful designs tell stories and myths. Through this art, they honor the goddess, but they also keep their family warm and dry. Pottery, jewelry making, and other crafts were given to them by the holy people, the sons and daughters of the spider woman and the sun spirit. They used silver and the turquoise that was given to them as gifts to make beautiful jewelry that is renowned throughout the U.S. and has blessed the Navajo people with a blossoming economy. Pots and jars are dual purpose, utilitarian in nature, but delicately painted with stories and legends in the form of geometric design. is performed through the art of song and in talking circles where the whole tribe comes together to speak their truth and to pray for the blessings of the holy people. These songs and incantations must be performed to the utmost perfection so that a shaman will spend his entire life perfecting only a few. Herbs and plant life are also an important part of Navajo medicine, using special teas and smoking blends to cure ailments of all kinds. Navajo government is a sophisticated process. It very much mirrors a democratic republic where the tribal council holds the most power and elects chiefs who are really only a board member in comparison, they work together to form unanimous decisions for the betterment of the tribe. When white men first encountered the Dinye, they called them the Navajo, which means horse people. The people took this derogatory term and redeemed it, taking it on as a name for themselves. Tensions would only increase as the U.S. Army blamed the Navajo for horse theft and accused them of many other things.
When peace talks were ruined by violence, a war broke out. Under the U.S. President's orders, the army marched on the Dinye, starting a genocide and the long walk of the Navajo people. Between the 1840s and the 1860s, 50 or more walks were performed, killing many Navajo people. The Dene retreated to the canyon for protection, building themselves homes tucked in the cliff face high out of the U.S. Army's reach. They suffered starvation and freezing temperatures as they could not light fires which would warn the army of their presence. They bravely refused to surrender the land which was a sacred gift to them by the gods. Eventually, the last few could not hold on much longer and they were marched to a reservation. When they finally returned home after many years, they returned in peace, and they built octagonal cedar cabins called hogans, which functioned as home, hospital, and church for the family. Today, the Navajo people still represent one of the largest indigenous peoples group in the U.S. Their culture has withstood the test of time and oppression. They still remain a semi-nomadic people, but they have also built cities and community. They remain this beautiful culture worthy of respect and admiration. Photos were taken by me at the Navajo Reservation. Sites include the IndianCountryExtension.org, StoryMaps.com, DiscoverNavajo.com, Navajo Religious Traditions, and a Physiography of the Navajo Nation.